So I'm going to build a momentum van using one of these uh, little toys which contain a flywheel and I'm going to try and build it into uh, one of these IP engineering kits and so if we have a look at the, the, the toy itself, these Z card devices which you can pick up for about £15 on Amazon Here's how they work, you give them a shove and the flywheel carries them along and they'll climb over things and that's because they've, they've, they've got gears in here which will, which will spin the flywheel around to store the energy um, just like when you're riding your bicycle along and you start off in a high gear it's very hard to get going and that's good because it will work the locomotive hard equally once it is going it's very hard to stop it and so if the locomotive slows on a sharp curve or on a gradient, the flywheel will help push it along. And what I'm thinking is, one flywheel, what extra momentum, good. Two flywheels, lots of extra momentum, even better. So I've got a, a second of these toys, and I'm going to use the, the two uh, powered axles as the, power, as the axles on my wagon, get rid of the other axles, and bolt them together. And the, these wheels are uh, quite firmly fixed on here. I think I may have to, to saw those off. Um, but the idea is that once I have the bare axle on there, I can actually just take, uh, and these, these are the uh, 45 millimeter gauge IP wheel sets, even though my track is 32 millimeter gauge. I bought these because the insulated ones on 45 millimeter will just, if we gently pull them, will just come off like that. And so I'm hoping I'm going to be able to slip that on to the axle once I've, once I've sawn the wheels off. So what I've done here is take the, the end and just uh, carefully unhook and bend it back like that and I've done it on both of them so that what I'm going to be able to do is bolt them together like that. So here it is with the two parts bolted together and now I just need to pop the wheels on and with all four wheels on get a piece of track and test it out. To adapt the wagon kit I've built a slightly different base using a couple of strips of plywood but used the rest of the pieces to build the wagon kit as described. Now here's my roundhouse millie starting off without any help from the momentum wagon. And now I've coupled the momentum wagon to Millie with a piece of, of wire that's acting as a rod rather than using the chain so that all the uh, momentum is transmitted directly back to the locomotive. And now you can see what a difference the momentum wagon does make to Millie's motion. It completely transforms her performance. 